Good evening everybody, I'm Fictional Crystals and not long to go until Voltron Season 4. Voltron Season 4 will be coming out Friday, October 13th. That's less than a month away. We've already gotten some trailers for Season 4, one that played after the last episode of Season 3, and one from Seoul Comic Con in Korea. Let's analyze what we saw in the latest trailer. Truthfully, not much that we didn't already know slash guess appeared in this trailer. This season is going to be about getting people to join the Voltron Coalition, which is basically a temporary alliance to beat the Golra. The first shot is of the team. They're looking at planets who are in the Voltron Coalition and those who aren't. I'm guessing green is the ones who are, and purple are the ones still under cholera control. They're figuring out who they need to free. The whole team is there except for Keith. The composition of the shot isn't right. They should be in a straight V shape, but Lance is standing ever so slightly back, and Keith should be next to him to even things out. But he's nowhere to be seen. I'll talk more about why he's gone later on. Koran mentions more Voltron events, and Lance has this cute moment. The Voltron events are shows. The lines show what they can do to get people to join their coalition. At this point, they would have already performed at least one, since Koran said another. Keith was at the first show. You could see the black line and Voltron there, but the black line is not around for the show. There is only four of them. Because Team Voltron is freeing people, they're running into some old friends, including Naima, Rolo, and Beezer. When we last saw them, they were stranded, possibly about to get taken by the Golra. Send the nearest fighter squadron to the area of the transmission. I'm not trusting some bounty hunter with our prize. Thanks to the coalition, they must have been saved. Hunk is finally making up with Rolo during taking flight. Pidge had a thing for Beezer, and she's there too. Lance had a thing for Naima, but surprisingly he isn't there. They look like they're on planet Alkari here. Lance matured a lot in season 3. I can't imagine him acting the same way with Naima as he did before. Pidge doesn't seem too convinced on trusting them again. Some exclusive pictures got given to us too. Hunk and Alora are back on the Balmira. They're revisiting old friends to help. So this finally means a Hunk and Shay reunion. The Blade and Mamora are still doing the best they can. It's focused on the one in the middle who's staring intensely at his blade. Keith could have gone to help the Blade and Mamora, since they are actually fighting and not just putting on shows. The one in the middle does feel more important. But the problem with that being Keith is he is not that tall. He is much shorter than the average Golra. We see some pretty extravagant Golra ships and the red line flying alone. The others aren't with Lance. This is an important Golra ship, belonging to someone of higher authority like Lotor or Zarkon. These these are ships of people who don't serve the Golra Empire. We've seen rebels use them. There's a shot of Allure in her paladin armor controlling the ship, and Pidge fighting. The few parts of the trailer with Lotor show him not being as collected as usual. His general Narty is not in the shot and he is attacking someone. Someone the other generals are surprised he's attacking. Lotor is not one to lash out like this. Narty's pet cat is Kova, who used to be Hagar's pet cat. It's quite obvious Hagar is Lotor's mother, and Lotor does not have the best relationship with his parents. Because of the other's reactions, you can tell he's taking a swing at someone who's on their side. What if it's Kova? Lotor's ship is under attack. For once, the black line is there, and Voltron's been formed. They're at the same place as the Golra ship was earlier in the trailer. Koran yells out the Voltron Coalition needs you. That's the tagline for Voltron's New York Comic Con posters. Are those tech people? The trailer ends back at the space mall. One of the shoppers wants to join the Coalition. Hopefully, Colton Ecker will be back this season. And Lance is pointing, blushing, and saying yeah. We've seen this clip before. It was in Voltron's San Diego Comic Con recap video. We still don't know who Lance is looking at. I doubt in the actual episode this scene and this scene take place right after each other. The settings are completely different. And why would the others be looking like that if at this moment they were getting people to join the coalition? I have already discussed this in another video. He could be looking at paparazzi or a fan after a show. Or Keith. Could be Cran too. Shiro gave a speech throughout the trailer. I'm guessing he's encouraging people about the coalition. He doesn't fly a line anymore, so he is able to help Cran. This trailer had a lot more Cran than the previous seasons, and there was quite a lot of Lance too. Other parts of the trailer were either fight scenes or reused footage. Now, why was there a significant lack of Keith in the trailer? The parts with him in it were either reused from season 3 or just him and his lion. Is disappearing just a black paladin thing? In the other season 4 trailer, Keith was arguing with Shiro on planet Alkari. The paladins have two leaders, and 
and they disagree. Keith wants to go after Lotor. Shiro, or should I say Corone, has other ideas. Keith thinks the shows are pointless, and they should just take on the problem right now, before Lotor attacks them. At this point in the series, the Paladins are in a pretty good spot. They haven't seen Lotor for months. He hasn't been seen in months. Keith causes a rift between him and Team Voltron. That's why he's not with them. Someone else who's arguing with another leader is Prince Lotor. At the end of season 3, Zarkon awoke. Lotor is very different from Zarkon. It's clear they don't like each other. Lotor in no way wants to be compared to him. Now that Zarkon's back, those two are going to be clashing, like Shiro and Keith. Which is why Lotor doesn't seem as calm as his normal self in the trailer. Lotor and Keith are fairly similar. Both are Park Olera, both are sword fighters. Both are dealing with a leader problem. In season 3, Lance was contemplating leaving the team, but Keith talked him out of it. Now Keith is the one going off on his own. While still on Planet Alcari in the opening scene of the trailer, like I said earlier, the composition wasn't right. Keith wasn't there and Lance was standing back. Then there was that shot of Lance in the red line alone. Lance is Keith's impulse control and right hand man. He helped and supported Keith throughout season 3. What if this time he's the one getting Keith to stay? Now that they're meeting more rebels, Pitch will be able to track down Matt, since he's working with them. It seems like the team are going separate ways. You got some going to the Balmira, you got one looking around for Matt, and you got one hunting down Lotor. Season 4 is only 6 episodes long, because it's technically the second half of season 3. Since season 3 was 7 episodes, there are some big things on their way. Hopefully it won't feel rushed. We're likely to get more info before season 4 is released, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, thanks for watching and stay hyped for season 4. Yeah!